Laporte High School finished 0-7 in the DAC and 5-17 overall last year under first-year coach Kyle Benj. This season, they currently sit at 3-0 in the conference, 9-5 overall, and tied for first place with Valpo in the DAC. Tonight's matchup has conference implications. If Laporte wins, they move to 4-0 and CP falls at 2-2 while facing elimination. If CP wins, there are three teams tied at 3-1, one game behind Valpo, and all gunning to end the season atop the DAC. Coming up next, it's the Crown Point Bulldogs versus the Laporte Slicers. Ramsey, let's jump right into our starters for tonight for the 9-5 Laporte Slicers. Starting at guard number 22, the junior Carson Crass. Also starting at guard number 30, senior Jake Spence. Starting at forward number 24, Garrett Outlarge, the junior one of two Outlarge brothers. Also starting at forward number 34, the senior, the 6'5 senior, Drake Gunn. And starting at center, number 44, freshman Grant Outlarge. Ramsey, take us through Crown Point starters. Crown Point's keys to winning tonight, defending Laporte's three-point threat. They have a very good three-point shooter in Jake Spence. He shoots 54% from behind the arc. One of Coach Swan's uh, keys to winning as well is keeping Laporte front line off the offensive boards and third and lastly, limiting the turnovers. Take us through Ramsey really quick, Laporte's keys to win. Well, Laporte's keys to win go as this. Getting out and attacking in transition, really trying to outrun these boys. Uh, containing Snodgrass, Jared Demos, and Decker, and scoring from anyone or from someone other than Gunn and Garrett Outlarge. So Crown Point won the tip off. Sam Snodgrass bounced it back to Matt Hanlon. Now Sam Crutz is going to have it on the wing over to Jared Demos at the top of the key to Sam Snodgrass on the wing. Sam Decker is going to have it on his man number 30. And that's going to be Matt Hanlon. Kicks it up to Ilya Jared Demos. Jared Demos drives into the paint and he's going to get his own offensive rebound, and he's going to put it up, and he's going to lay it in, so Crown Point up by two early. Matt Hanlon looks to shoot, then hands it off to Sam Krutz, gets it over to Decker. Ilya Gerardimos for three. Ilya Gerardimos is going to hit the three. Back to Snodgrass. Krutz with the ball. He's going to give three dribbles to his right, hands off to Sam Snodgrass. Snodgrass with the shot, and it's going to be off the glass, off the rim. Offensive rebound, Gerardimos. Ilya takes it to the top of the key, hands it off to Sam Krutz. Short pass inside, Ilya Gerardimos 4-2 from the left-handed layup. Just very, very disappointed in our effort and how we came out. Um, you know, days you're not going to hit shots, but that's we just didn't come with any effort whatsoever. I just want to see us, you know, compete as hard as we can in the second half. You know, we can't get 25-point shot. You know, we got, we got to grind our way and see if we can try to get back into this basketball game. So 42-17 to is your score here in Crown Point. Laporte running a little bit of a press defense. They're going to break the press. They're going to get up to Sam Krutz. Gets it down to Sam Decker. Decker is going to get an and one of his own off the glass. Four men in the post they just did. Outlarge working in the lane. They're going to get it. And it's going to be, well, Outlarge is going to get the ball. And then we're going to see that play on instant replay. As you see, the ball comes off the top of the key into Outlarge. Outlarge working on Ilya. Seems it could have been a charge, but it goes in anyway for two. Two minutes of 42 seconds left, and it's going to be a steal from Crown Point. Crown Point pushing the floor. Sam, or Sam Snodgrass single-handedly is going to get the ball off the window. Sam Snodgrass window. now four. So we're going to head down to our sideline reporter, Ellie Lockhart. Ellie, what you got? to stay serious, no joking matter at this time. Stay serious, keep through the fourth quarter, and just keep scoring. Back to you, Gene and Ram. Well, Sam Krutz. The ball's going to be into Sam Snodgrass. Great play there by Matt Hanlon over to Sam Snodgrass. Inside to Ilya Gerardimos, easy to Ramsey. There goes the defensive awareness again. Again, defensive awareness is the issue, as you just said. They're allowing too many points on the inside. Drake Gunn getting his own points on the inside. Good post move there. Finally, he's starting to contribute. Number 40, that's going to be Mason Schroeder. Schroeder finds Gunn. Gunn pulls up in Decker's face and hits the two. Ethan Osowski working to get the ball to Drake Gunn. They get the ball to Gunn. He's going to push off Decker, and he's going to hit the jump shot. I love the way you put that there, Gene. Gunn pushed. So we'll take a look at the conference. So assuming that Crown Point doesn't give up 26, 27 points in the next three minutes and 52 seconds, Laporte will move to three and one in the conference. 
and Crown Point will also move to three and one. Assuming Chesterton wins, Chesterton is playing Lake Central tonight, so we're assuming that it's going to be a Chesterton win. And Balpa will move to 4-0. So Crown Point's upcoming schedule, give me a second, let me find it here. Crown Point's upcoming schedule is going to be South Bend, Washington tomorrow night on January 31st. They're at Portage and February 5th, they're at Andrean. So number 40, Ramsey Miles Lubers is going to check into the game for the Dogs. Dylan Matusak playing good defense on number 12, Ethan Osowski. Jordan Nichols is going to lead the Slicers. Almost gets Ty Smith to bite, but Osowski's going to put up the floater and it's going to be good. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Ramsey, Crown Point, took on the task of a talented Laporte team. And they came out and they scored straight out of the gate. They took on the task of Laporte and they dominated them. Really a tough game for Laporte. The Crown Point finished with almost 70 points. That is 20 more than they average. Well, Crown Point knocks off the slicers of Laporte. 67 to 48, a 19 point win for the Bulldogs. That's going to take Laporte's Our kids did a great job early on of taking them out of what they wanted to do. We told them we needed to press up on their shooters. And uh, Sam Crutz and Sam Snodgrass especially did a great job. Um, you know, I think we took them out of what they wanted to do early and then down at our end we made shots. And uh, boy, it, it's always, it always makes the game easier whenever the ball is going in the basket. What are you going to tell your team going forward from this? Well, the tough part is we got a tough game tomorrow on the road at South Bend, Washington. We're going to have them just go home, get a good night's rest, hopefully have a good walk through tomorrow and um, try to get another big one tomorrow night. Thank you, Coach. Good game tonight. Thank you. Ramsey, we're here on the court after a great 67-48 to 48 win for the Dogs. Really, Crown Point dominated all aspects of this game tonight. What did this win mean for them? This win's really just a great momentum boost for the team there, Gene. Uh, they come in and play a wonderful Laporte team. Really, they averaged 60 points and they held them to 48. Uh, so when you're Crown Point and you hold such a good team, and Drake Gunn, their leading scorer, who averages 17 to only 10 points on the game, it's something special. It really is. So with that win, it kind of creates a logjam in the DAC. Three teams at number two with a 3-1 and one record in the DAC. Crown Point, Chesterton, and Laporte. Valpo is alone at the number one spot in the DAC, and Crown Point plays them in the upcoming weeks. What does that you know, three-team logjam at second place mean for the Dogs? Well, it's a great thing to see as after last season, they did not place well in the DAC, but honestly, it puts quite a bit of pressure on them to know just that they could win second in the DAC. Ramsey, does that take a little bit of pressure off of the Dogs, or does that add more pressure to them? Again, I believe it adds a little bit more pressure to them just because